So I have this LED light here, which is usually in a motorhome, and it's not working properly. I'm going to fix it. So this should be a pretty simple fix, hopefully it won't take too long. As you can see it's got a big LED array here, and this is a 12 volt, 24 volt light. It's got a little buck converter built into it, which is quite nice. Don't have to mess around with anything. It's all built in right to the end there. Anyway, we'll get this board out, somehow. We'll have to figure out how to do that. Looks like it might be riveted actually, that could be interesting. Maybe we don't need to take the board out, we'll see if we can do that. But it's got these end caps on here. So I'm going to try taking the end cap off then. I haven't taken the board out since the board's riveted. Don't have to deal with that. Have to bolt it back in again. So we'll try and get the end cap off. Well, it's got a hood up from power supply. Let's try and turn it on. See, it? see that? Sometimes it will just flicker. Don't know if the camera's catching it or not. It's just like, yeah. The switch is obviously bad, so that's why I'm going to pull this end cap off and we'll see if we can do something with the switch. I hope I'm not take the board out. So I'm trying to see how this goes together because it's got like these posts which stick through here a lot. And it's got this hooking part around the end here. I think it kind of clips in. I think it sort of clips over here. So if I maybe leave this piece out, or this piece, one or the other, and see if we can get it to pop out. This is going to be fun. I'll come back once I've got it off. I think I'm making progress. I'm just sort of using my hands and it's lifting. There we go. After you do the same on the other side as well, then this might just work. Rather than using it at all. Yeah, it's definitely got some give in it, but it's not going to be pretty, I don't think. You get the idea. Okay, I've got the cover off. Now we can see the whole section. And that's what it looks like. So here's the switch. So maybe the switch isn't actually up to the job. Maybe it's not rated high enough. I don't see any like, loose tracks or anything, or legs falling off. So I see any problems with the tracks, they all look like they're attached, I don't know. I might just give them a probe. The middle one's looking a slight dodgy, but I don't know. Maybe it's the switch itself, is just bad contacts inside. Don't think I've got anything the same as this. I've got something similar, I don't think I've got one the same. I've got like three whole versions of the switch, but not service mount. So I'm just going to test the switch itself. I've looked at the pins and they look fine. I can't, I've tried wiggling the pins around. There's no movement on the legs, so I think they're actually soldered okay. I played the switch. This is why having a good continuity function, a very fast one, is good. This one's extremely fast. So it's only just occasionally working. There you go, if I hold it on sideways, it sort of works. But when it's latched, it's not actually staying on. Even if I wiggle it, it maybe it'll work. So that switch has definitely had it. Also, don't forget to click like and subscribe if you're new here. Let's pull this switch apart. Now, these switches can be dismantled. They've got like a little edge on the side here. You can see this little finger or spuds holds it on. Little latch. So there's one of those each side. We could unlatch the switch, take it apart, and see if we can clean it. Maybe it's got some burnt contacts or something because I think it's underrated. Like I said, unfortunately I don't have a switch of this type, otherwise I would just replace it. So let's just get my tweezers under here. This could go horribly wrong, and if it does I'll probably have to bodge in some other kind of switch. Okay, is that side dislatched? Or unlatched? I'll come back on to get that part. Okay, I've got both sides disconnected, just lift it off. There's a the top cover, I expect there'll be a spring in there as well somewhere. Here's the plunger with the spring behind it. Okay. And it's got this little lever on the side here. This little lever on the side there which does the latching on the side of the pen, on the side of the body here. So, must not lose that. There's a spring attached. Now it's just sitting in there, we'll take that out. There it is, there's the contacts on the side. Both sides burnt up, looks of it. So, hmm, we might be able to clean it. Maybe clean it, retention it, might work. Might solve the problem. Right, so we've got some Deoxit D5 here, which is quite a strong cleaner. So let's just put a bit inside the switch, because it's going to need it as well. And also on this cleaning swab. Okay. So it's on the swab, so I can use that to clean the contacts on the switch. Because they're going to need a good clean too. 
you can see it on there, can you see that? You can see how dirty that is there. Yeah, definitely very dirty inside there, so we'll clean up the switch side, then we'll clean up the contact side, you can see a little pin there, I must not lose that. I'll stop the switch from working completely if I lose that pin. And we'll clean this up. I don't know, is it actually gone? Has it lost the contact? Has it arced off? Looks like it might have done actually. Hmm. I'll come back once we've cleaned it. So from having a really close look at this, I actually think that contact has gone. Both sides. I think all three should be the same, the little dimples on them to make a good contact. And I actually think that one is just like completely gone. I think it's missing. Both sides. I might not be able to repair this. Because it's not like I can just turn it around because it's got the guide on this side only. It's not got on both sides. So I can't just turn it around and put it back in the other way. Hmm. Guess I might need a new switch. I just kind of another idea. One side of the switch is fine, the other side is knackered, alright? So if I look at the on side of the switch, I'm doing this, there's nothing there, even though I've cleaned it, it's actually still not great, right? It's actually worse than it was before. I guess I've pushed the, one of the legs in slightly or something. Anyway, do the other side, that's off. So the off side is okay. What if I just get the switch turn it around 180 degrees and have out as on instead of in as on that'll buy me some more time maybe I can find so many switches then and actually replace it it's budget now the thing that's going to be hard here is that this isn't an in PCB right it's going to suck up all the heat this is going to be really hard to desolder I could use hot air that'll probably melt the switch so I'm going to have to use a soldering iron and I'm going to just basically try my luck or try and get hot enough around here and, and get it to work I'm going to put some fresh solder on, just to improve my chances. Because what I'm going to try and do is basically do one side, then do the other side, then obviously reseat it. I'm also going to put some flux on, because this will help to heat, uh, transfer the heat as well. Get way too much on there, squeeze that too much. This is going to be very smoky and messy. Anyway, we'll try it. If we're lucky, Yep, that's starting to lift. That's actually working. Okay, now I can't lift it any higher. Let's do the other side. That actually basically went straight away, that's good. That's the size I can go on that side. Do this side again. Yeah, this is actually doing really well. Yeah, lift it right off soon. It's actually doing better than I thought. Here we go. So side right off. Here we go. All right, we'll clean this off. My iron's really hot because I've expecting it to be hard to deal with. Probably turned down a bit actually. That's why the flux is burning so quickly and stuff because I've got it on 400. I could get hotter, but um, I was expecting to have a lot more resistance from the board. Put some more flux on, which is going to make the job a bit easier. Alright, so I'm just going to tack this back down. I've turned it around the other way. Now the switch itself is actually wonky. If you look at it, I don't know if you can see it or not, but... See, that's wonky. It was wonky before. I pulled, you know, when I pulled it apart, it was already wonky. I don't know if I can actually strain up a little bit. When I solder it, I'm not sure. Maybe it'll help. But, uh, anyway, we'll tack on one leg. Okay, let's clean this up. I 
flux everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Just take that. <laughs> I'll come back. Right, moment of truth. Let's hook this up to power. And we'll see if it works this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah look at that. It's not great though. That's doing 300 milliamps to 12 volts. Now this one's on a 24 volt system, so it's winding up coming up to 24 volts. It's actually more like 26 most of the time, but you'll get the idea. That's 185 milliamps. But this switch thing, see, it's just not good, is it? Look at that. I need to get some better switches. So I have to measure the switch up and uh, buy some replacements. So I've got some in stock, but uh, I'll put it back together, put it back in. Also, if you're interested in giving me a, a bit of a donation, there's a super thanks down the bottom there. So down there, over there, um, there's a thanks button somewhere. So you can click on that and donate a selectable amount of money to the channel. It'll help me to buy things and make video content. Down here's a playlist of things I think you should watch. Here's a playlist of YouTube things you should watch. Here's a subscribe link if you haven't already done it. And here's a Patreon support link if you want to support me long term and help me to make more content in a more productive way. And you also get perks as well, like service manuals and things like that when I have them. I'll upload them to Patreon as well. So if I'm working on a piece of test gear or anything, Patrons get advanced viewings. They also get the files. So I'll upload the manuals and service manuals and data sheets and stuff like that with anything I'm working on. Bye.